Well, let's look at how to use the list view control. So I'm going to go ahead and create a project. It'll be a Windows form app. And I'm going to call this one LVC for list view control. All right, so the first thing I want to do in this list view control is make sure I have my toolbox. If you don't have it, you can go to view and down to toolbox and then add it. So I have my toolbox here. I'm going to add a list view control. Let's so scroll down to my list view and I drag it in the corner right here. All right, so there's my list view. Now I want to have this display a list of movies. So I'm going to go ahead and do control shift A to create a new class for a movie. So I'll call this one movie. And then make this a public class. And then I decide what my class attributes are for this class. So I'm going to have a title for the movie. So I will do a public string title. And I'll have a getter and a setter for the title. And I'll do a public int year and have a getter and a setter. I could also put a constructor in here, so make things easier. So do public, make your constructor public. And then movie. I'm going to pass in the string as a title. So the title. Do lowercase title this time. And I pass in int year with lowercase year. And then I will set the values so that title equals title, the one passed in. And then year equals year, the one passed in. All right. So now I have my movie class done. I can go over to my form now. And I want to pre populate this and give some variables here and have some values. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to create inside the class an object to hold my list of movies. So I will do a private and this will be a list of type movie called movies. And there we go. So now it's been created. And uh, when I first load the page, I want to initialize this list and have some values in it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So that when the, when the form load, it will put some movies in here. So movies add and make some new movies. So new movie. And then I've got my constructor, so a title and a year for each one. And let's go ahead and make multiple copies of this. So let's go ahead and make a few movies. All right. So I've got, let's do Star Wars, a new hope. And that one is 1977. And I'll do Princess Bride. That one is 1987. Do the Wizard of Oz. 1939. Let's do Harry Potter and the Sword. Sorcerers. Stone, and that was 2001. And we can put in another one like that to do the Lord of the Rings. Rings. The low ship of the ring. And make that one 2001 as well. And then let's throw in a Disney one. So we got Wall P. And that is 2008. So now I have a bunch of items inside my list. So it's not an empty list, which allows me to then display stuff on my list view control. All right. So the next thing I want to do is create a method. 
that is going to populate my list view control. So I'll do private void and we'll call this one update list view. And it doesn't need any arguments because it's just going to pull from our our list. All right, so then I go back here to this page. I'm going to have a couple of buttons. So if you look at the list of movies, there were some that were in the 1900s and a couple in the 2000s. So maybe I'll have um, separate them somehow by their year. So let's go back to the toolbox and we'll add a couple of buttons here. So I'll do one button right here and another button right here and then a third button right here. So in this, I'm going to first, let's go start with this um, list box and do some property changes here. All right, so I want the list box to have a name and it's got a name and that's good. Um, but I want to change the view also from large icon to details. This will allow it to have columns, which makes it much easier to look at and you can display things in a oops, nice way. All right. So now um, I don't need to set, name it. I can just keep it a list view. It's currently list view one. So we'll keep it at that. But the buttons probably need new text. And I'm going to change the button names if I want. So I'm going to go ahead and change the text for the button. First one, I'm going to say uh, 1900s. Oops, 1900s as the text. And that looks good. And I change the name of the button to BTN1900. Go ahead and change the next one to BTN2000. And the last one to BTN all. All right. And then in addition to changing the name of the button, I'm going to change the text as well. So this will be 2000s. And then the last one, the text is going to be all. All right, so now these buttons have been set. The I can change my main pages uh, text as well, so I can say this is my movie list. There we go. All right, so I want to make these buttons do something. So how do I do that? Well, in order to make the buttons actively doing something, you just double click on the button, and it will create this little method right here. Go back to that one, don't click this one, create some method here, and don't click this one, and now I've got a method here. And what I wanted to do is update the list view every time there's a change. So first of all, when I load them, they have these lists, and this list view, I'm going to have it receive a list of movies, and then just display them. Now, because I'm going to be doing some modifications and things like that, I want to change the type it receives. So I'm going to receive an I enumerable of type movie. So the I enumerable will allow me to, well, display just these movies that I send it. And I'm going to call it M list. And then the first thing I do with my list view is I want to clear out anything that's in there. So if I'm updating it, you want to clear it first. So my list view one and items and clear. We'll get rid of all the movies that are in the list. Now the list view keeps track of each line and you can go in and change things in your subcategories. And so in order to make these things clearer, um, it's best to have an integer I that you just keep track of. And then you can list through, glue through the list and display things. So I'm going to do a for each. And I'm going to get these movies out. And I call it M in 
M list. And then for each one, I want to display it. So I put it on the list view. Let's do one items add. And then I will put the M dot title. So with the title first. And then on the next line, I want to add the year. So, or in the next line, the next column. And so columns are added as sub items. So I do list view one items. And this time I give it the index of the line. So items I dot sub items dot add. And then I will do my M dot year. So it seems kind of long. I guess I do need to uh, convert it to a string. Oops. Because it needs a string to string. All right. If I had a, another one, and I want to add another column. Or not, yeah, I just, I just list another thing like here and just, just do another sub item. And then I need to make sure my index is incrementing, so I++. Plus plus. And there we go. So that will display or update the list based on what's getting passed into it. So just to make sure everything is working correctly, the first thing I want to do is after I have created my list, I want to use the update, update list view, and pass it my movies. Just to make sure it works with the entire list of everything. So I'll go ahead and run this. And it pops up this thing right here and it displays nothing. So that's not a good sign. The next thing I want to do is go ahead and make sure I have the all button working. So I can pass in my update list view. And pass this in my movies. So I'm going to save that and run it. And if I click all, it doesn't display anything. So I should probably go now to the design and update my list view so it actually displays the columns. So I click on this arrow right here, and you can edit your columns. And I'm going to add some columns in here. So the first column I'm going to add, it says currently column header one. You can change the name if you want, but be careful because you it's, it becomes a variable. Or you can just change the text. And so I'll take this as title. I'm going to add another one. And I will change this one's text to be year. All right. And then I can adjust these things if I want, move them around. So I'll put these right here, and we'll see what happens now. If I run this, this time I actually do get a list. So that's much better. So I want to now filter these things. And I can use link to filter them. So the way I do that is I go to my code right here and I create a link statement so you can do a var um, and list equals and I want to get it from movies and I'm going to grab just the ones that have a year less than less than 2000 so I do a where and then I do some variable. It doesn't matter what you use, but you have to use it multiple times. So, so I'll use m, and then I use m dot year is less than 2000. Now we'll get all year, all the movies that have a year less than 2000. Once I have this, I can pass this into the update. So it's update list view. 
and pass in this M list. I can do the same thing for the ones from 2000. So copy that code right here, paste in here. And this one I'll do greater than or equal to 2000. Save that. And now I'll run this. And you can see I have all of them listed. I can do 1900s. I can do 2000s. And I can do all. So this is how you do a list view.